Alright, hey everybody, welcome to another Using the Forge video. In this video, I'll be talking about how to set up GM Forge for multiplayer play using Universal Plug and Play. So, to get started, you're going to want to make sure you have a game. So, you just go ahead and make a new game. Here, I'm going to pick one I already have created. And then once you're in this game here, you are now multiplayer enabled, except for some network setup you have to do. So I'm going to be using universal plug and play, which is one of the methods GM Forge supports out of the box. In order to get this set up, however, I need to make sure that my Windows settings are configured correctly. There is a chance that universal plug and play is not supported by your network, so then you would have to fall back to using port forwarding which we have a guide on the Steam Guides page for you to check out. So now that I've decided I'm going to use Universal Plug and Play, I want to make sure I go to my control panel on my computer, and then I go to Network and Internet, Network Sharing Center, and then I go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings. This is how you enable universal plug and play. Most likely you'll see settings like this where it says turn off network discovery. What you want to do is just turn on network discovery, save your changes, and then you want to restart GM Forge. Once you do, you'll be able to click to invite your party and then select UPnP. This will copy an invitation to your clipboard which you can then give to your players and they can connect to your session using that, that invite. And then they'll be able to connect and join as a player in your session. Hope this helped guys and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.